I'll start off with just saying congratulations to, to all of you again. I know there's lots of hours that you and your parents have put in to get to this point. A lot of work over the years that's required great sacrifice from you athletes, your parents, and also the coaches. And so, again, even though we're not able to physically get together to celebrate, we definitely, definitely wanted to celebrate with you vertically. Also, a big special thanks to our parents, our families, our coaches, and all others for their support of Sydney and Nick and Sterling over the years. So if, we, if you would, uh, and your mics are probably off, but if you want to turn them on, I want us to all give these, these three and their parents real quick before I introduce them a big round of applause. Y'all can hear me. Thank you. I'm here to hear you. Oh, how great. Fantastic. Thank y'all for doing that. That's that's great. That's good stuff. So uh, a lot of fun to do that. And I, I could hear it. So that was good. I first will introduce um, to you. Uh, she's going to represent University of Texas uh, next year uh, in soccer. And that's Sydney Cox. Sydney, where are you? Wave. For, can I see you? you know, I mean, there's so many. I can't get everybody on the screen. But you're there. And her parents are Jeannie and John. And all of our siblings there with her today, I'm sure, are very excited about that. There's only one boy in the family, Jay. And, Jay, I just want you to know I was the only boy. That's tough to deal with. But I know having all those beautiful sisters is kind of neat, too. So, Sydney, congratulations. Uh, and congratulations to Jeannie and John as well. Uh, in baseball, he's going to represent Hutchinson Community College the coming years. Sterling Sutcliffe and his parents, Peggy and Steve, and his uh, uh, uh Siblings are probably there as well. I think maybe they're around since we're all having to shelter in place to whatever you want to call it. And then uh, Nick Johnson will be representing uh, Highland Park at Colgate University next year in track and field and his parents, Kelly and Robert. So if you would, one more time, give all these three moms and dads a big round of applause. Yeah. And I'm not sure to Nick uh, what the hand signs are for Colgate or Hutchison, but uh, Sydney, I know what yours is, so I'm going to go ahead and do that just because you're sitting there. So I uh, thought I'd throw that in there. But at this time, I'm going to turn it over to our coaches, and uh, we'll start in the order that I just introduced everybody. So we'll begin with, with Coach Stuart Brown. Coach Brown, take it away. Um, welcome to everybody. Thank you for, for being here to, to, uh, to celebrate Sydney. Um, as our one girl soccer representative this year after, you know, Presley and, and Megan signed earlier in the year. Um, so glad that Sydney's taken the, the risk and the chance to go on and play at the University of Texas and uh, what, what the University of Texas is getting and, uh, and Angie done there as coach. Um, just someone who constantly lifts the energy in the room, just super positive. Um, every training session has the greatest work rates, fantastic energy, um, being one of our very, very good um, members of our leadership team over, uh, over this year and uh, just leads, leads from the front and uh, occasionally will come up just like she did in last year's regional final score, a spectacular uh, goal or two, um, but tends to, to spend most of her time um, breaking down other teams' uh, offense uh, along the way. So University of Texas um, is getting a fantastic student, fantastic athlete, and most importantly, a fantastic human being. And uh, can't wait to see um, Sydney linking up with Presley next year and then uh, her sister joining uh, the year after, which uh, which will be exciting for the family as well. So, uh, so Sydney, congratulations. Sydney, this is kind of unusual, but I see a lot of people that are, are uh, messaging in right now. So that's that's cool of you guys to do that. Keep doing that. Sydney, would you like to make any comments briefly? I can't. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm really excited for next year. That's all. Awesome. Well, we're excited for you and we couldn't be more proud. So congratulations again. So Sydney Cox, University of Texas from Girls Soccer. Congrats, Sydney. Way to go. And see some comments still coming in. That's great. All right. Next up, we've got uh, Coach Yoder is going to visit with us about Sterling. And I think we have a teammate or two that's going to say some things. And Sterling, again, you'll get a chance to, uh, to speak if you'd like. Coach Yoder. Perfect. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, but I first want to thank uh, Steve and Peggy Sutcliffe for their continued support. 
Uh, we appreciate all your help you've given us over the program over the years. Uh, Sterling's a, a three-year letterman and has been a huge uh, part of our success. Sterling's a well-rounded young man that is a jack of all trades. He's a singer, an actor, a great student, and one heck of a baseball player. Uh, whatever Sterling sets his mind to, he accomplishes. Uh, one of his greatest characteristics is his work, e work ethic, uh, which is second to none. He puts in the effort and the work to achieve his intended goals. Uh, one thing is for sure, if Sterling has a bad game or outing, I know he's going to be in the cages or on the field late at night with his father uh, to right the wrong. Uh, those attributes he possesses will help him be successful in whatever he does in the future. Uh, Sterling's intensity, though sometimes gets him in trouble, uh, and ten tenacity is a large part of our why our baseball team is successful the last past three years. He's an unbelievable kid, and I love him a lot. Uh, he will be missed next year. Uh, Sterling, I wish you nothing but the best uh, for you years to come. I'm going to miss you. I know Hutchinson's going to get a great one. Uh, and, I, and I wanted to bring one of my baseball players up, uh, one of our captains, and Kay Savage is one of our captains, and he just wanted to say something really quick about Sterling as well. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Yes, yeah, so we just want to say congratulations. And from the team, we want to thank you for being such a great teammate, a leader off and on the field, and an intense competitor. You're such a very important part of the team, and we wish you the best of luck in your future. Thanks, Kate. Um, Sterling, we we'll to give you a chance to say something if you'd like. Uh, I just want to thank my coaches and my teammates uh, for all the support throughout the years. Thank you very much, Sterling. Appreciate that. I didn't know that you were an actor and a singer, so I found out some new things about you today. That's pretty cool. It's great stuff. And then uh, Coach John will visit with us about Nick Johnson a bit. Good afternoon. That's Coach John. Uh, Coach Ringo, Coach Bailey, thanks for setting this up today. Greatly appreciate it. Unique times. So thank you. Uh, thank you for doing this for us. Uh, uh, Kelly and Robert, I, I want to say a big thank you uh, to, to you all for doing such an amazing job with Nick. Um, it's, it's very difficult to find um, um, uh, young men that uh, practice what they preach every day. We have a lot of them at Highland Park, and the majority of our kids are just that. But Kelly and Robert, I want to thank you for being such great leaders in your household and giving us a great athlete, Nick. Nick, congrats to you moving on and uh, moving on to Colgate and and uh, following in, uh, in some family members' footsteps. And uh, I'll say this, Colgate is, uh, their throwing program is gonna be much improved with, with uh, Nick attending uh, Colgate University. You know, we've seen great strides with Nick in the past, uh, past uh, couple of years, and he's really solidified himself as a varsity thrower uh, this year. And uh, it's a shame that our season somewhat cut short, but uh, we've seen, uh, uh, personal record set week after week with Nick. And um, it's really exciting to see, see, see his growth. And it's really exciting to see him move on to the next level um, and become a collegiate thrower. I, I want to share, uh, uh, Coach Davis, the throws coach, wanted me to share this with everybody. So let me, let me just read this about Coach Davis's thoughts with Nick. Nick has tremendous work ethic and a team first mentality. Nick possesses the natural physical build and skills to make himself a great thrower. That paired with hard work and attention to detail has made Nick one of the most improved throwers in our program, and he will leave no stone unturned at the next level to improve his skill set. Colgate's throwing program will increase in value with uh, Nick's leadership. Nick, thanks so much. You're going to do great things. I wish we had you for four more years. All right, appreciate you. Love you more than you know. Great job. Thanks, Coach. Uh, John, appreciate that. Nick, would you like anything to say? Would you like to say anything? <laughs> Uh, I just want to thank my coaches, uh, all my teammates, my parents. That's awesome. All right, how about we're going to do something different since we, you know, this has gone pretty quick, and since we don't have any cake, or I don't have any cake or cupcakes here to eat, so I can, we can move, you know, move a little slower. But moms and dads, if there's anything you'd like to say to your son or daughter that maybe we never give that chance because we're always so busy, but we'd love to have that opportunity now. We'd, if you want to share and you're on, we'd love to hear it. Okay, there you go.
Hey, well, we'll start. This is uh, this is John Cox. I'm Sydney's dad, and um, you know we've watched her since she was uh, really started playing in preschool, and in her very first practice, um, she actually at the end of the game, um, they uh, her team was losing, and so she laid down on the field and and threw a dying crying fit, and, uh, <laughs> and so that's just uh, that's been her heart for the last dozen years. We couldn't be more proud of her. Um, we're excited she's going to play at Texas. Uh, I think she'll be a vital part of the team, and I think she'll make that program and that community uh, better for her being a part of it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you, John. I think so much of what we've hoped and dreamed for Sydney was that she would be able to participate in athletics at Highland Park. And she um, started out with Coach Bailey in cross country, and she learned a set of life skills that will follow her every day of her life in terms of just finding something inside herself she didn't know she had and, and being able to marry that with the club sports and things like that. And Coach Brown, Coach Lavati, Coach Mellis, and Coach Scott, thank you so much. Each one of you have gotten to coach her and got to build into her and develop her and put her on the field in strategic times and situations. And we just could not be happier with the experience we've had at Highland Park, both academically and athletically. And we are so proud to represent them at the University of Texas. And you know, once a Scott, always a Scott, and we are so thankful to be able to have her in y'all's in y'all's hands and under your um, training. Thank you, Jeannie and John. That was great. Um, Peggy, Steve, anything you'd like to add for Sterling? Thanks, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to uh, thank all the coaches, including you, uh, Johnny, and uh, the experience at Highland Park. has been amazing. You know, Sterling played football and and wrestled and did. Uh, you know, varsity choir. So he's a pretty busy guy, but he really had his heart in baseball this whole time and uh, was able to do some amazing things, you know, starting sophomore year as a varsity player. Uh, I just can't even tell you how proud we are. He's been working all of his life to go play at college and beyond. And uh, we found a really good fit up there at Hutchinson where uh, it's one of the best JUCO programs in the country. And he's going to do some good things up there and maybe have some other opportunities outside there. Uh, but I wanted to thank uh, you, uh, Coach Ringo, uh, Coach Yoder, uh, Leidner, and uh, Coach uh, Roan, and uh, even uh, Coach Berg when, when uh, these guys were freshmen. They just had an amazing time. And uh, thank all the players, his teammates, uh, for all the support and everything, uh, the love that they've shown over the years. So we're, we're going to miss this year, obviously, but we're going to miss you guys uh, moving on down the, uh, to college level. So thank you all. Well, thank you. You bet you we'll miss you too. And I remember when he played football and he wrestled. I think he wrestled in middle school. I remember that. So he's been a multi-sport athlete for quite some time. So that's awesome. Um, Peggy, anything from you or did Steve cover it all? Oh, Steve covered it all. All right. Yeah, I it. Kelly, you and Robert. We're just incredibly excited for Nick to go to Colgate. Really proud of him and all the work he's put in. And thanks to all the coaching staff and everybody at uh, Highland Park as well. But really proud of you. It's, uh, you know, working here and having coached here, it means a lot to have Nick come through. We're real thankful for every football, baseball, track coach that's been part of his uh, growth these four years. He's, he's a better man than he was when he came in. And we're really excited. Uh, he's going to Colgate. Yes. Go Gate. <laughs> he's going to follow in your footsteps, right, Mom? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, those are all great, uh, great, you know, opportunities for three tremendously awesome young people. And so we're so thankful and thrilled for you. And I know Mr. Kelly, I think Walter's on now. So I want to give Mr. Kelly a chance to, uh, to chime in too and, and, and wish him all the best. Uh, John says, do you, I mean, any connection with Colgate? I mean, any way that this happened, that was, a <laughs> I am so proud that he's continuing the tradition. Uh, and with Hutchison and also with the Longhorns, I just want to congratulate each one of you guys. You've represented our school well. You've been good human beings. You've been tough competitors. And you're going to be great attributes to each one of those schools. And I just appreciate you letting me be a fan. Uh, and also to help, hopefully, if there's some chance to help you guys out, please know that, as was said earlier, once a Scott, always a Scott. We're always here for you guys. And we are excited about your futures and what you've earned. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Um, well, that pretty much wraps up. Unless we have anybody else who wants to add anything real quick. Anybody else? All right. Well, I just want to, again, thank everyone for, for being a part of this today. This is uh, unprecedented times. It's been very difficult, I know, on all of our athletes, especially our seniors. I'm hopeful that we'll have an opportunity to return. 
Uh, I just want you athletes that are on, uh, you coaches that are on, your parents as well, uh, we miss you dearly. We can't wait till we all see each other again. We love you very much, and we appreciate what you've done for Highland Park each and every day. And, and, and this too shall pass. You know that. We're all going to be better for it. It's tough right now, but uh, we just want to wish you the best and let you know that we love you, and we look forward to seeing you again. And let's get a big Go Scots on three, and then, like I said, we can, for me, I'll virtually eat cake and cookies uh, since it's not in front of me. But I hope at the Johnson household and the Cox household and the Sutcliffe household, there is actual cake and uh, cupcakes or something like that. So big go Scots on three, and then we'll close with that. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Go Scots. Go Scots. Go Scots. Everybody Sutcliffe, unmute go real quick. Em. We'll all do it together. Go Scots. Let's try it again. We're going to unmute real quick. Everybody, give all the thumbs up. There you go. I see it coming down. There you go. Come on, everybody with us. Here we go. Ghost. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go. All right, guys. Coach Allen, thank you for being on. Coach Bailey, Dr. Trigg, Walter Kelly, thank you guys for being on. And also our coaches, we appreciate you guys very much. God bless. We'll see you soon.